In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a quick card using the frame dies from the new Firth Park Tags collection by John Nextdoor. And this is just a really quick make. It's a very simple yet detailed die which you can really get beautiful effects on. So I've started by just making a small five by five card blank and I've matted it in green and in white and that's using the Crafts 2 linen card. So now I just need to cut the topper on that and just to put the sentiment on. So I'm going to start with another piece of the linen card and I'm going to use the die on its own without the insert. So I'm just going to stick this down. So I'm taping this down to the linen card. And what you want to do, I'm going to run this through my Kaleido machine. This will fit through any die cutting machine is the detail is here down the two sides. So you don't want to cut it that way on because that means that the rollers will jump over that detail. You want to cut it down each side. So simply place the pieces on it. It doesn't matter what size of machine you've got. And I'm just gonna run that through my Kaleido machine. So a very simple die to cut, but as I say, a lot of beautiful detail in there. So just peel that one out and take this out you'll see you get all that beautiful detail running down each side and because I've cut it on the side it means that all the little pieces have cut perfectly I just need to use my pokey tool just to release a few of the little circles in there and this has been designed to have little circles going all the way through it and then sort of working together so you've got one there one there and then a circle in the center and that's been designed so you can leave it or you could put things like card candy onto there or you could put pearls or gems on so all i want to do now is just add a little bit of color so i'm just going to bring in a green pigment ink here and i'm just going to color and shade lightly using a finger dauber down each side and then the same not adding any more ink for the sides as that gives me a really soft appeal and in the next video we'll show you how to make the letters and numbers for this one and the flowers so we've just shaded that so we've got that and it goes on our card blank fits beautifully and because of the green ink it just stands out so now we want to put the main element on there so I'm going to use from the same die set this square now from the back, it looks as if a perfect square, but it's actually not, it's a wonky square, which means that you can always get it lined up perfectly, but what cuts out has got a beautiful beveled edge. So I'm going to cut that in the green just to show you. So again, another piece of the green that I've used on the main card, and I'm just gonna run that through again, just through a standard A5 die cutting machine. I'm using my Kaleido. And again, they will fit through all leading duct cutting machines. So we'll take this one out. And you can see here, you've actually got a sort of wonky square, like a sail as if it's pinned at four corners. And it gives you that different look rather than just being quite flat. So we want a piece now to go on top of that. And this is where we want to put our sentiment. Now, what I'm using is the birthday from the John Next Door Stencil Sentiment Collection. So, I've got a piece of white card here. I'm putting down my die, and I want this to be in the bottom right-hand corner, so I simply butt this up against the two edges. That means that I won't get an impression into the card of the die and also means it stays completely straight even though the square will come out with a slight wonk on it and again we turn that to the side so we get the longer time cutting the sentiment and we run that so very simple take those little pieces out and you can see there we have birthday cut into it so all I want to do now is just start putting this together. So I'm going to use a little bit of 3D foam tape. I use a two millimetre foam tape just so I get that little bit of depth, but it's not too high and it doesn't affect the postage. As a small card, this should be posted very, very easily. 
so we've got a bit of foam tape on there. We'll put a little bit on the green. And as I said, with this die, with the Firth Park tags, you can add gems or stones onto any of these that you want to. I'm going to keep this one quite simple at the moment. But again, there's lots of ways that you can decorate it because we're going to add some flowers onto this in the next video. So a little bit of tape there. And again, here, but just make sure we miss where this aperture is and pop a little bit of foam tape just there. So we're supporting that sentiment so that it doesn't flap. So I'm going to remove the protective tape from these pieces. And I'm going to position, let's just move that die out of the way. That can go either way, but I'm going to go top nice and evenly in the middle. There we go. I'm going to take my green piece and again, remove the protective tape. And I'm going to put the square at an angle. So it makes it more obvious that it's got that little bit of sort of sail like quantity or a little bit of um, wonkiness almost to it. Then I'm going to take the birthday. I'm going to put that almost straight over the top so that the birthday pops through. And there's our basic quick card made. In the other videos for this collection, I'm going to show you how to do some numbers to put on there. And we're also going to do some flowers. But for now, enjoy.